We'll cross now to reporter Jessica Van Bonderen at Racing Queensland headquarters. Jessica, the Racing Board met this afternoon. What did it decide? Karina, there were very grim faces here at Racing Queensland headquarters this afternoon as the greyhound industry grapples with uh, the biggest crisis it's ever confronted. The board revealed late this afternoon that 13 trainers in this state have now been suspended and of those, seven have been issued with show cause notices as to why they shouldn't be banned from the industry for life. They have a week to respond, but look, that's unlikely to be the end of it with the RSPCA pursuing possible criminal prosecutions. What we have here are some very high profile trainers uh, implicated. And today, Racing Queensland seized 70 dogs Racing, as scheduled, has gone ahead in Queensland today, although dogs involved uh, have been scratched from the program. Racing Queensland is vowing to crack down on what it calls abhorrent and disgusting behaviour and to set up a task force to do so. Dogs were racing as normal at Ipswich this afternoon. Yet the industry may never be the same again. The new minister's unimpressed about live baiting at some training tracks. I consider the people involved to be mongrels and uh, the level of barbarism shocked me. Not everyone's surprised. I was absolutely disgusted. I mean, you know, everyone knows what goes on. Um, there's not a lot you can do about it. I've, I've actually, one of the few has actually reported it. More Queensland trainers have been suspended today and they're some of the biggest names in the industry. Deborah Arnold. My parents have been in greyhounds for over 20 years and they would never do anything to hurt a dog. They would never do anything to hurt anyone. And Tom Noble. Them. Will there be criminal charges? What have you heard? Will be. But thank you. The RSPCA is gathering evidence, but prosecutions could be months away. We want to get it right. This is a good opportunity to prove to the industry we're serious and those people will get the full force of the law from the RSPCA. Animal cruelty attracts a two-year jail term or $33,000 fine. <laughs> Racing Queensland officials have removed some dogs from the properties. We will go to the fullest ends to investigate every innuendo, every claim, every statement made by everybody until we deal with these issues and eradicate them from this industry. The ABC has spoken to a number of industry sponsors about the revelations. Some expressed revulsion and said they'd be reviewing their support. Others questioned whether it was fair to punish the whole industry because of a rogue few. More people have come forward with information since last night's Four Corners program. This is inherent within the industry and that's why a government inquiry has to take place and people, for independent people need to be involved. There are many honest um, law-abiding citizens who are doing the right thing by their animals. But unfortunately, even they may now be tarnished. Jessica Van Vonderen, ABC News, Brisbane.